Besides, they said that only of you fell in disbelief as Olori Mariam blocked his way. Hey, hey. Block him from entering his chambers. My correct people, come see Wahala. Come and see Wahala. This one, Wahala, we are koi koi. Is this one not true? I don't know. What is Marian's problem? You know, that time they said that KBC called them and told them that starting from now, that all of them must start to accord Kunomi the respect that is due for her. That is no longer that Kunomi is not in the palace. Kunomi is not in. Kunomi is now back. That uh, they said that KBC scheduled a day where Kunomi will address the Oloris. So during the addressing them, KBC is going. Uh, Kunomi is going to tell them what she will tolerate in the palace and the one that she will not tolerate. Because we all know that why these people have been fighting Kunomi is because they don't want Kunomi to come back to the palace and start scattering things for them. Yes, because Kunomi's prayer, hey, Kunomi's prayer na, na scatterer. The thing just they scatter their, their uh, juju. As they go get one thing, what they go use, maybe you hope Kabiyesi, Kunomi prayer go scatter them. And that is why they have been fighting Kunomi, saying that she should not come back to the palace. But this one, Kabi Esi took them on her way. Hey, 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 hey. I just love this one. Eh? The thing they thought in my heart, seriously. Kabi Esi took them on her way and brought Kunomi back to the palace. So, uh, Olori Mariam, we all know that she said it that over her white body. But I don't know why she's still, uh, she's still living. She never buy because Kunomi is back to the palace and have come to stay. And nobody is going to send her away this time around. She too have decided that this is her husband's house. Of course, the one thing that is giving me joy is that Kunomi is no longer that Kunomi of last two years. Eh, no problem. I don't want problem. Eh, let them go. After offending her, they will still come and beg her. After, if they try to get one, one or two from KBC, KBC cannot give it to them freely. They will come and beg Kunomi. No, it's not like that Kunomi. Kunomi is now a change Queen Naomi. A Kunomi that have known what it means to be in a polygamy because uh, I know that she never wanted to be in this polygamy, but it have turned out to be the way it is now. So she have learned that this is a polygamous family that she is now into. So therefore, she have tried, she have learned how to live in such a situation. So guys, according to what we heard, KBC called the Oloris and told them that Luko. All of you, all of you, one by one by one, you must respect Kab uh, Queen Naomi. Any of you that goes contrary to Queen Naomi's word, you're going to contend with me. They said that Olori Mariam stood up and told Kabisi that she cannot obey Queen Naomi for anything. That she have money past Queen Naomi. That she, um, she have investment. She's senior Queen Naomi. There is, no, there is no how you can compare her with Queen Naomi. And you want to want her to come and start uh, answering Queen Naomi. Yes, ma. Obeying Queen Naomi for what reason? Because KBAC have declared it. KBAC announced it publicly. That Queen Naomi is now the Yeye Oluwa. And the post and the, her staff is given to her back. That she will resume her work immediately. She addresses the Oloris. She is going to resume her work as the Oluwa of all sorts, and nobody should tamper with Naomi. Nobody should try to fight with Naomi in any way. That if he ever hears that anybody fights with Naomi or challenge with Naomi, that Naomi shouldn't even do anything. That Naomi should leave it for her. I'm sorry for him. And they said that Olori to uh, Mariam. After saying, after KBC finished tell, uh, telling them all, the, all uh, why he called them, he said that he got up to leave. And Olori Mariam blocked his way. Olori Mariam blocked KBC's way, allegedly, as we heard. Saying that KBC, you're not leaving, no. I don't know, it like, is it that she's doing it uh, happy, uh, jokingly? I wish she's serious, I don't know. Because I can't imagine her supposed to get up and block KBSC's road. KBSC is too big for that. Anyway, now wife, now wife can do any, anything. We we'll just call her wife and husband something. But this one, anyway, guys, let me not just go there. But they said that uh, she stood up and they said that KBSC, you're not living anywhere. 
that's okay. Immediately, Kabi is finished saying all the things. Some of the Oluru is left. She was still there. Kunomi was still there. Kwa. They said that now she got up. Uh, Kabi is got up to leave. She got up and blocked Kabi, saying that Kabi is not going to his room. That Kabi is not leaving. No, that they have not settled. That Kabi should wait. Let them settle. Let Kabi is settle her. Now what what is all this? Why did the Kabi still choose to embarrass her like this? That this kind of embarrassment is too much for her. She cannot in, uh, take it. There's no how she can take this kind of embarrassment. For what reason? Why would Kabi still bring back Kunomi to this palace without even tell, telling her? Without letting her. And the worst of it all, Kabi still want to put Kunomi in that royal manner. And want her to start answering Kabi, uh, start answering Kunomi. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. For what reason? Now, why would she answer Kunomi? Yes, ma. Huh? Now, Kabi, you have to settle. Let's settle. And I was like, what are they settling? Kabi, you have made it clear to them that Kunomi is the Yeye Oluwa of all sorts, and nobody should disrespect her. Nobody should go against what uh, against her orders in this palace. That she have come to stay and no going back. Hey. My correct people, they said that Kabi Esi was like, uh, Igbi, leave my way. Because this, your insult is becoming too much. Yes. Your insult is becoming too much. I have tolerated you enough. I have tolerated you enough. And this time, I'm going to show you the stuff I am made of. Because I can't keep on uh, allowing you to insult me this way. The thing is becoming too much. Just imagine Olori, Olori Igbi blocking Kabi Esi's way. Although say, although they say that Kabi Esi, Kabi Esi cannot raise hand on her now. Kabi Esi tried to even slap her. She left the way. My correct people, see see what in Kabi Esi they passed through from that palace. And now that Kunomi is back, they have started sending arrows against Kunomi because as Kunomi come back to that palace, things are going to change. Number one is this. As she's back, all their arrows that they have been sending, all the things that they have been doing, all of them is going to come to short. As in, it is going to come to an end. It is going to come to an end. Yes. Because prayer is the key. As they are doing, sometimes they will try to project, but prayer will make it not to work. So that is why they they now know that uh, power jam power. Abi, uh, what, what, how do they even put it? The, the greater power have come to stay. Yes, God of Kunomi have come back to the palace. And the light that have disappeared in that palace for long will come again and shine. So guys, don't forget that all of this are all alleged information. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you and my God will bless you. And don't forget that all of the information we are sharing with you here are all alleged. Please give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Love you guys. Bye.